What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Today is the 18th, and I'm reading for September 19th, 2019. That reminds me of the number 999. 999 is the number of perseverance. So we're almost there. I mean, actually, for we can expect exact forward movement at this moment and anyway, because, you know, Saturn is going direct. And then it's just full circle. We can expect to become full circle. Uh, but if things haven't manifested, Think of the number 999, perseverance, and just know that it's near. Even if you don't see it, you don't know when, you don't know how, it's near. It's coming, and you got this. Persevere. Also, um, September 9, um, 1919 is 6, numerology. And 6 is balance, is harmony. But 6, to me, is also the number of the sun. And when I say the sun, it's being a vessel of God on earth. It's, you know, how Drake says, like, six God and stuff like that. It's like, um, you can think of six as the six emotive attributes of the tree of life. But it's the number of the sun as well. It's about being a vessel of God on earth and honoring and knowing who you are. So persevere. You know who you are. You have the wisdom that you see. Um, you are God and God is in you. And you got whatever it is that you're going through. You got this. So today's reading was brought to you by AshleyGiller.com. I offer tarot readings, I have books, and I offer several different services that I provide. But I really want to do some readings, so order some readings. Um, you know, if I don't do anything, if, if I don't want to do anything in a day, I want to do readings. But I, it just gives me life. I love it. So if you want to read, order it. I pulled some cards already. I was using iMovie to record, and I pulled some Oracle, and I got... Taurus, Cosmic Gateway. How perfect, right? And I remember because the other day it was like, I felt the energy of the, it was like a Cosmic Gateway opening. And I felt the energy. Um, and we have Sacred Vision. Choose to heal in order, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light. Sorry. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Interesting, interesting for us to get this. Let's see what kind of reading we're going to get today because forgiveness may be required for the masculine, probably for the feminine, though. You know, when we come full circle in these journeys, um, sometimes it requires us to forgive those who started us with us from the beginning or that we had to walk away from or who may have hurt us during this journey. So, yeah. Miraculous changes are occurring. And we know that. So we're going to remain kind and patient. I did a reading for myself. In the bottom of the deck, we have higher learning. You have learned from experience. Um, but it's not over. You have more to learn. More inner study requires a further progress. But what I'm getting from that is you've come full circle. Now it's time for the next phase. The next phase of learning. The next phase of progress. The next phase of life. Um... And right under there, we have Cloak of Wisdom. You know the answer. You seek. Trust what you know. Yes, Lord, ancestor, spirit, life force is with us. What was I saying? Maybe it was important. I just forgot what I was saying before that. But yeah, maybe we're going to have to forgive. So let's get started. Who are we going to look up on? We're going to check on the masculine first again. I always check on the masculine first. So why not? My son, let me tell y'all while I'm shuffling these cards. My son does not want to eat my leftovers. It's like he'll eat the food when I cook it. But like today, I didn't cook today. I cooked yesterday and I don't want to slave myself. I don't want to cook every day. So I'm like, eat the leftover ch baked chicken and, and big biscuits and honey baked beans that I made yesterday. And he did not eat it. He made a chicken pie pie. I just, do y'all kids think they too good for leftovers? I don't know what's up with this generation. We ate leftovers. We had no problem eating leftovers. I will eat leftovers for two and three days. My son, uh-oh, what's going on? So, nine of swords, bottom of the deck. All right, so this is a continuation of a reading from yesterday. We have the nine of swords, I can tell. I can tell, and this may be the energy of the feminine, but I asked to read 
for the masculine. So let's see how this goes. But the first combination we have is the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. It's like a clear decision being made, but uh, some anxiety involved in this decision making or maybe the result. So we'll keep pulling because if, you know, we have the strength right under here. <laughs> Because if this is feminine energy, we know that the feminine has multiple options to choose from or everything coming at her more than once. You know, everything coming at the feminine at the same time. And it could be anxiety involved in that. We know that. So we're just going to keep pulling. Or this could be the masculine making a decision to come towards the feminine and being rejected. But let's see. Let's keep pulling. Interesting. Uh-oh. What was that? Um, and it's interesting that they keep giving me these cards for the storyline because um, this must be something really important as it pertains to the next phase of this Twin Flame journey. It's because for me to keep getting these readings, there is a message attached to it. Maybe it's some decisions that we need to make or some insight and clarity that we need to go in and uh, figure out. But something major is going on because that's the only reason why we continue to get these readings. Um, we have Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. Some conflict surrounding this. Maybe this is both energies. Mm -hmm. But this is some conflict surrounding a transition that needs to be made. Okay, so it could be anxiety involved because maybe a move is involved in this connection or is this in this decision. Let's say decision. Maybe there is a decision that needs to be made as it pertains to a partnership, something. Um, it could be money, career, business, relationship, and it's requiring you to move. And there's some conflict involved in it because maybe there's children involved. Maybe there is, uh, it's really far, you know, with the waters. It could be really far. It just could be something that you're not sure of. So it's conflict involved. And I'm not going to ignore the fact that the Five of Swords is right there. But we're going to keep pulling. Interesting energy so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my website is ashleygiller.com. If y'all want to book, I'll put it in the comments. But I'm going to do some readings. Okay. The Emperor. Okay, oh, you see, like, I feel like I'm going to have to start pulling three cards or two from the bottom of the deck. And I think I'm going to pull this. I feel like it's a part of this energy. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be, yeah, it, it really is. Just, it really is. It's like right there. But I'll let them pop up on their own. So, we have the Emperor, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords. This is the um a continuation of yesterday's reading we have making a decision as it pertains to an emperor masculine energy um entering the next phase of life okay I, let's put the story together so there's a decision that needs to be made there's a decision that's causing some anxiety because it requires a transition and this transition is conflict involved it could be conflict involved because maybe it's a big move. It could be conflict involved because and anxiety, maybe because there's children involved. It could be conflict involved because maybe people don't want other outside forces don't want this partnership together. So there's that. But a decision needs to be made as it pertains to a solid foundation, who to enter the next phase of life with, this masculine energy, and making a choice. So I think I'm reading for both energies. But I, I, I feel like this is the feminine. But we're going to keep going. Even though I requested to read for it. Okay, sorry guys. It, um, they fell on my lap. So, right in the middle of my senses. So, let's pull those cards. So we have... Okay. Alright. Okay. Lots of cards at the same time. We have the star... We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Will of Fortune. And we have the Ace of Swords. I think this is just more information. Okay, we know the feminine is going to get a breakthrough. We know the feminine's life is about to change. 
in major fortunate ways. So we have a breakthrough coming in the feminine's life, bringing in fortune, bringing in um, recognition, bringing in new, it's like a new, more energized phase of life, bringing in a following, bringing in fortune, bringing in just a good period for the feminine, um, a good breakthrough, finally manifesting for the feminine. We expecting that anyway. Saturn going direct and feminine is putting in good energy anyway. Especially feminines who've been on a twin flame journey, putting in positive energy, following spirit, following their intuition, putting in the positive, 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 positive energy and karma, healing and helping others. Um, you have a lot coming towards you. We know this already. Ooh, I need my hair. I feel like I just got my hair done and it's looking. Anyway, um, so we know positive changes are manifesting for the feminine. But this is work. This is multiple opportunities as it pertains to work coming into the feminine as well. I'm not going to ignore this Knight of Cups. But... OMG. Okay. Yes, we have multiple opportunities coming in for the feminine as it pertains to work and new beginnings in work. So we have a fortunate change in events, a breakthrough in the feminine's life, bringing recognition, bringing energy, vitality, a following, and uh, opportunities and new beginnings as it pertains to work, which bring it on. I'm ready. You know, I, I, I'm so ready for this that I've just been relaxed and really for like the past week or so. I mean, I have my store that I've been working on, but other than that, I've just been relaxing because I know this next phase of life is going to be so busy. But we also have the Knight of Cups as well. We have the energy of the Knight of Cups coming in as well. So the anxiety is, or it could be some trouble because as choices as it pertains to career and love, we these readings have been predicting this for so long, but now it's about to manifest. It's really almost here. It's like, um, yes, it's conflicting work. Love. Opportunities coming in as it pertains to work and love. Entering the next phase of life and who to build with, who to be with as you, who aligns with all of this as it pertains to work and as it pertains to love. We'll keep pulling. Honestly, maybe we shouldn't say, um, I'm going to pull for the feminine first. I'm just going to start pulling because, you know, um, because spirit did not listen to me. Anyway, we have the sun in um, the seven of wands combination. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Interesting. Didn't I just say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? And the king of wands is right under there. Goodness. And three of cups is right there now. I'm not going to ignore that. So we have these multiple offers coming in as it pertains to love and as it pertains to um, career. But with the sun, the king of wands, and the seven of wands, it's adding, it's adding spiritual completion. But it's also adding, it's just pure masculine energy. The sun is masculine energy. Um, the king of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but spiritual completion as well. So it's feminine and masculine energies. But it's all coming at you at the same time with the Seven of Wands. So let's keep pulling. It's just a lot going on. I'm feeling like it's too much. It just feels like this is too much. It could be too much because, it's again, I just said spiritual completion. It's resurrection. It's judgment. It's redemption. And it's the Page of Swords. Page of Swords and Judgment combination. Ooh. Maybe people are judging as well. And you're fighting. You're fighting for yourself. Or are you taking up for yourself? Who's judging the feminine or the masculine? You know what? Sometimes... You know, I read these comments and they they talk about, you know, people on Twin Flame journeys and they say, they really think somebody else's husband is your Twin Flame. 
it's possible people marry the wrong not the not how do i phrase this people marry people that are karmics all the time it's not you know they get into a legal contract that's what a marriage is in the world you go to the judge and you sign you go to the state or whatever and you sign a document with someone saying we're a uh, together as an entity we're, we're working together we're filing our taxes together we're an entity but anyway i'm not disrespecting that process but that's what you do and sometimes you do that with a person that's not meant to be with you forever and then you have your twin flame one that's connected one that you're a spiritual match with and you you get out of this karmic you know, relationship, you learn from it, you go from it. Yes, it's a karmic soulmate. That's your soulmate too, but you grow from it. You learn from it like you're supposed to when you move forward. And then you come together with someone who you're a spiritual match with. You're a masculine and you're a feminine, whatever. But people may judge you because not everybody understands the twin flame process. It's not for every, it's clearly not for everybody who doesn't have enlightenment or a higher understanding. So anyway, you come together with your spiritual partner, your spiritual match, your twin flame. And people may judge you because it's like, oh, but he or she was married or he or she is married or he or she uh, has kids with someone else or he, it's just some level of judgment involved. It could even be somebody you have history with and people judging you because um, I think I'm going to leave this moon on the bottom of the deck. I might keep pulling, but I feel like I'm going to leave this moon. On the bottom of the deck and, and start pulling from another one. What is that? The tower wants to show. Yeah, and it may even feel like a tower situation because so many people are judging you. So it's like a need to protect. It's almost a need to take up for yourself. But what comes with redemp redemption is right before, I don't know if you believe, but the Bible story of Jesus... Um, which is similar to the story of Horus and a lot, a lot of other deities from different um, backgrounds and cultures. But anyway, crucifixion came before, you know, redemption. So it could be a crucifixion before the redemption or, a, you know, something that you have to go through, an obstacle before you come together with your twin. My computer keep messing up. Anyway, I talked to you guys about the sun. And the sun is the vessel of God on earth. And we know the blueprint. Right before resurrection is crucifixion. Right before redemption is crucifixion. So it could be a hump that we have to go through before we're redeemed. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we've been through enough, though. With the sun and the king of wands, spiritual completion. I told you guys. Yep, this could be it. It's like spiritual completion. The you know the storm before the calm. I want to say. Yep, spiritual completion. This is gonna be yourself as before that because you're still in a good place here. You're still the feminine is in a good place here, um, entering a new phase of life with career and um, personal success. So I'm going to get another deck and I'm going to start pulling cards. Let me save this video. Okay, so now we're going to use the Fountain Tarot deck to add to this story. Child, I'll be glad when this stuff starts like really, really manifesting. So we can kind of like move on from this. Who do I choose energy? And um, from this, this. Because we know... The feminine is going to be hit all at once with love and career. Manifesting like that. Coming at her like that. And we know it's spiritual completion going on. Uh, but this is the first time I'm getting like judgment as it pertains to being judged. But we'll see how that unfolds. We'll keep pulling. We'll keep pulling cards. But I already know personally... This is crazy. I'm not even using iMovie. I'm using another software. It's my computer. It's something about, and I have a $2,000 iMac computer, and it's really annoying. Right, so I have kept a dang on $300 computer. That was going to do all this. Okay. Let's 
So, what is this? Yep. Six of Coins, Page of Coins, Wheel of Fortune, and King of Swords. I think it's starting over. So I think I'm going to end this reading here. Definitely a different reading. I hope I don't have to do this over, but... Yep. But I don't know. The energy is so happy here. But this Page of Coins, this New Beginnings, this New Beginnings of Equal Give and Takes, so happy. It's like, I cannot wait to offer this. Or I cannot wait to have this in my hand. Or I finally have it in my hand and it feels so good. Whatever new beginning this is, it feels good. Hmm. And then there's the Will of Fortune and the King of Swords adding to it. And the Six of Cups here. It's coming together with someone from the past. Making a decision to choose someone from the past. Hmm. But it's good energy here. It's, it's feeling good about that. It's feeling fortunate and being fortunate. New beginnings. Equal give and take. True love. I don't keep pulling. Why not? Let's not keep pulling. Cha. This stuff is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Mm, but not too far in the past. Choosing to end it with a karmic. Look at this. My computer, computer, computer. Choosing to end things with a karmic. That's the drama. That's who's judging you. The karmic. That's the... Okay. Now the story is making more sense. The karmic is judging you. You're happy. Look at this. Look how happy this person is. This feminine energy, masculine feminine energy, happy as hell. Happy as F U C K. Really happy. I wouldn't say happy as hell. That's kind of oxymoron. Um, but very happy. Fortunate, fortunate, real fortune and, and decisions finally being made. Coming together with someone from the past. Equal give and take. True love, soulmate, partnership. Releasing a karmic. Putting to end a karmic situation. Like, listen, it's over. It's been over. We're not together. We're not going to be together. It's over. And that's probably where the judgment comes from. This is probably where who the arguments are going to be because I'm getting arguments with this page of swords. Heated communication. Someone judging you. But you, judgment is, I'm getting double message, like receiving on immense level. You are receiving on immense levels. But I'm also getting it, someone judging you, and it could be the karmic. You goddamn karmics get on my nerves. Sometimes. <sighs> you know who is the ultimate karmic? Um, I kind of have sympathy for it. Um, Taraji P. Henson in the movie Acrimony. That's karmic energy. It's like his twin flame was the girl that he cheated with a long time ago. Decided he left her, you know, rejected her because, you know, he really did love his karma, his soulmate, Taraji P. Henson. Uh, and I forgot her name during the movie. I'm trying to remember. Whatever. Anyway, so she. They, they're together. She helps him. She grows, helps him grow. She doesn't quite believe in his business. But, you know, they're together for all those years. And then they finally, you know, the karmic breaks it off with him. You know, Taraji P. Henson, the karmic breaks it off with him. Um, Robert. And moves on or whatever. And then he finally makes it. And so the karmic tries to come back. This is this story. You finally make it and your karmic try to come back. And you're like, well, you dumped me. Or, but it's over. But we made a decision that we aren't going to be together. Um, mutually. We, we, we're we not together. You didn't want to be with me. You made that decision. Yes, you were with me shooting in a gym. Yes, you were with me as I grew as a person. I was. We were in our 20s or we were in our 30s, whatever. But it's time to move on. You decided to break up with me, or I decided to break up with you. We decided we weren't going to be together. Usually, it's they decided to end it as well and move on with their life, thinking they were moving on to bigger and better. Finally, realize they're not moving on to bigger and better and want to come back to you when you make it. 
And so you say no. It's fiery communication. And they judge you for it. And it but you're like, no, it's over. It's these karmics. It's like, I appreciate karmics for what they do and for what they've done. Um, thank you for everything you've done for me, helping me grow. But when I make it, that's not a time to try to come back. It's over. That's who's judging you, damn karmics. Ooh. Guys, I'm glad I kept. Oh, man. So, yes. Ooh, child. You, okay. So, we have the Fool, the Lovers, the Justice cards, and the Five of Swords. This is making a choice. I, I believe here. Let's start here. Yes. Um, Five of Swords is competition. Lots of competition. Look at all, look at those men fighting. Lots of competition but making a choice and getting and, and putting it on paper. We were talking about marriage, putting that choice on paper, taking a leap of faith, choosing one and getting married with the justice of the peace there. The justice of the peace. Taking a leap of faith, getting married, choosing one. Finally. I'm reading that the uh Oh my goodness, that Knight of Wands is right there too. The cards feel. Oh. <clears throat> People are going to be hating on y'all. You're going to receive lots of hate, but that's okay. It comes with the territory. You know, lots of love, but also lots of, you know, hate. Making this firm decision is a tower. Oh yes. Look at the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So we already know people are going to hate on you. It's okay. It comes with the territory. But choosing to come together and get married with this person um, is going to require you to walk away from other things with this Eight of Cups here. It's going to require walk away from people, places, and things that don't serve. This connection is going to be a tower moment. Um, tower, not moment. A tower situation in your life. Um, period in your life because you're coming you're married you're getting married right it happens you know like your life is changing oh yes and it's gonna happen so quick with the eight of wands and the ten of swords endings and new beginnings really manifesting really quickly things moving real fast oh man it's just gonna be a lot we're gonna do that we need to appreciate this period in our lives. This is a hangman, but. Remaining tranquil though. Maybe spirit is just in. Regardless of what's happening, remain at peace. But he's in his underwear, he's, you know, he's upside down. But it's so beautiful outside. Regardless of the situation, remain at peace. Regardless of what's going on, remain at peace. But what was I about to say? Oh, this time period, if, it, if everything is kind of mellow for you, like it's really mellow for me right now, I think we should appreciate this because when it changed and we're in this energy of everything manifesting at the same time, people coming to us at the same time, opportunities to work at the same time, and we're working and, you know, working on those opportunities and we're busier than we are usually. I think we can appreciate times like this, especially me speaking on my behalf, where things aren't moving so fast and I control my time. I can go to the gym for three hours if I want to. I can work on my stores plan for three hours if I want to with no rush or, you know, anything. I, you know, I can, I just have freedom of my time and can do whatever I choose. If I want to watch HGTV all day, I can do that. So I think we should appreciate these times where everything is moving, hasn't quite manifested yet <coughs> because we know it's coming. I'll just pull one more card. This man, this is something else. Um, I'm gonna, somebody's gonna get married really fast and it's gonna be a burden. This, it's, it's gonna be good and still a burden at the same time. Yep. I was just talking about the burden. Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. Finally letting go. Somebody finally lets go. Honestly, and I'm thinking it's 
letting go of the other options and moving forward with someone else. We'll leave us at the bottom of the deck, the chariot. Moving forward, the chariot and the moon combination, it's like moving forward. Not, you know, uh, yep. Moving forward with someone, hoping or praying or having faith that it's the right one. But with this page of swords and this five of cups, see this page of swords here? So this is fire, this is argument. This is arguments, fighting someone, judging you. This page of swords and five of cups is more calm. It's not the same. We're not talking about the same people here. This page of swords, I think, is about the karmic judging you and y'all arguing. This page of swords is your options. I'm sorry. It's like having he's having a conversation with these three cups in front of him that, you know, he can't take with him. And it's like... I'm sorry I couldn't choose you. I, I really love you. I love you. I wish you the best in life. I hope you find someone for you. But I'm sorry I chose someone else. It's kind of sad. It makes me want to cry. It's like, I love you. But I'm sorry. You know, I chose to be with someone else. And I wish you the best. Yep. It's more calming. Goodbye. This is why this hurts so much. This is why it hurts. Because it's good and bad at the same time. It's like new beginnings with someone you love. But ending it with someone else that you also love. Wow. And not even having too much time to think because everything is manifesting so quick. Like we like hangman takes you know time to think things through. Seeks insight and clarity. So you you I mean, as a feminine, you're in tune with your intuition anyway. And follow your intuition, but it's going to move so fast. You're not going to have so much time to take all day and make a decision. It's going to require quick thinking. It's going to require a quick decision. And it's going to go far. It's like getting married quickly. or It's like almost like eloping or something. But <sighs> I wish you the best, whoever resonates with, with this reading. I feel like I have to resonate with this reading. Um, the fact that it's come up in so much, so many of my readings. I'm pretty sure it's for the collective, though, because I've asked Spirit before. I'm like, who is it? Is this just for me? Or in Spirit said it's for the Twin Flame Collective. So, and I'm a part of that collective. Okay, guys, thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, if you're still here, I have a few people I want to shout out. Just thank you, Strawberry1050, again. I always, I love your comments. Ooh, guys, I'm getting ones and threes. 1331. Three, one. And 1331, one, working with spirit, for sake, producing, trusting and working with spirit um, to move forward. Yep. Before progress in your life. Thank you, Empress Rose, for your comment. Thank you, Adore Missy, for your comment. Thank you, Strawberry1050, for your comments. Thank you guys. Thank you, The Chariot, for your comments. I really appreciate all of you who like, subscribe, comment, share. You know, it really helps. And especially since I can't like um, promote my videos or anything, they ban my ad account for like no reason. So I really appreciate the support. I wish you guys, I wish you all love. I wish you light and I wish you more life. Peace and clarity and um, everything you need to get through this week. Love. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.